Hi, welcome to our pastime once again. I have to admit I'm already deep into a project and I just figured maybe you'd like to see what I'm doing this week. Um, I didn't... I got the boring part out of the way already. Let me tell you that. Um, so let me turn the camera around and show you what I've been doing. It's a mower deck. Everybody has Probably a lot of you already have a mower deck, and you deal with cleaning it every year. Mine's a little rusty, as you can see, and you may notice certain attempts at uh, remedying, 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 yeah, fixing the problem over the past few years. Um, most of which has been unsuccessful. It works for a while, and then right back to rust. And corrosion. Um, this deck does have a place where you can hook a hose up to. It's on this end. I'm not sure. I've never been able to make that work. It's never cleaned more than just this side. I'm not sure how it's supposed to clean the entire deck. It, uh, doesn't seem like it's really designed to clean the entire deck. At least not with my type of grass, which is any and every type of grass, I guess. It's no, I don't have just one variety of grass. It's weeds and dandelions and anything that's green, basically, is what my lawn is made out of. So I'm not really into having the perfect lawn. As long as it's green, it looks good to me. Um, so, I spent a lot of time scraping and getting the big flaky rust out, and I was going to do a KBS system on this this year, but um, the store was closed today when, when I went to pick up the, the under deck treatment kit. So, my lawn is getting long. And I'm going to be gone for the week, and I can't really afford to wait much longer. So this week is the time to do the deck for this year, if I'm going to do it at all. And uh, the deck is completely dry at this point. It won't be dry or as clean the rest of the year if I start using it now. And I think I'll wait and do the KBS treatment in a couple of years when the deck looks like this once again. Um, what I have today is the Rust-Oleum method. Um, that should work for at least this year. And uh, maybe it will work longer, I don't know. Let me show you what that is. Okay, so my method will be to use Rust-Oleum fast drying, fast drying uh, primer and then I'll probably put a couple coats of that on to make sure it's good and sealed and then after this motorcycle goes by then I'll use this self etching primer to make sure that the uh, top coat gets a good hold onto the primer um, this is Rust-Oleum Farm and Implement JD Yellow paint. I just picked that up at my local Aubuchon's. Hopefully that will work. And I don't really care that it matches John Deere Yellow. At this point my deck's pretty old and dirty. But it's I'm looking more for the uh, heavy duty and rust preventing aspects of the paint and the glossiness of it to help keep the grass from building up underneath. Okay, so we're going to have some sound effects in the background of the roosters. The roosters are not very quiet today, so that's what you'll hear. So if you notice, I've gone ahead and masked, masked off the spindles. Um, that's just some paper board, pa paper packing from Amazon. Thank you very much, Amazon. Um, just put
put some tape around the spindles and tape around the uh, paper and mask off that. And there were two threaded, uh, threaded inserts that I taped off too, just so I don't have to dig out the paint afterwards. Other than that, everything else can be painted. So let's get busy and do that. And we'll hopefully won't get any overspray on the lens. First we're gonna start Say fast drying primer preparation remove loose rust with a wire brush. I did that clean with soap and water. I did that and let dry. I did that. All right, priming shake can for one minute. Time me, start priming me. Oh, by the way, this is a 48 inch deck. In case you first time to this channel and you haven't, or the first, this is the first video you've seen. I don't know if I've shown many, I don't think I've shown any mowing videos with this deck. All right. That's a minute. Now we just need to apply a light coat. I went with a light primer because I'm using yellow as a base, as the top coat.
Okay, it's thoroughly dry. I'm just gonna put a second coat down, make sure I didn't miss any spots. Give it a good coverage. I can see some areas where the primer is a little bit thin. So just gonna make sure I get a good coverage.
primer is dry. And we're ready to put the pop coat on. And this top coat is John Deere Yellow Rust Oleum. So we'll see how it looks. Doesn't really matter. Nobody's ever going to see it because it's going to be under the deck. My main purpose is hopefully to create a smooth surface so that the grass clippings don't stick to the uh, deck as much. Making it e hopefully this will make it easier to clean out and uh, pre prevent rust as well, of course. It's yellow. pretty good it's coming out a little bit gloss and keep the grass from sticking that's my number one goal for this project I suspect the grass is still gonna clog up in this deck it always has every single time no matter what even when it was brand new so I think it's a lot to do with all these little holes you see you know a lot of places for the grass to catch and even up this lip, these are lips uh, right here. The uh, grass catches on that too. 
Um, it's just a lot of non-smooth surfaces for grass to catch up on. So, I didn't really have time to, let's look at this for a minute. I got the blades sharpened, just touched up, they weren't that dull. And blades are on, I'm going to attach it to my mower and go out and mow my grass that's about 8 inches to, some, some of it's a foot tall. Put it off long enough got to get to it anyway thanks for watching my channel i hope you'll subscribe give me a thumbs up and keep watching there's many more to come lots of trucks going by some people have airplanes going over i have trucks going by anyway thanks for watching uh subscribe comment and give me the thumbs up thanks for watching see you next time